Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So sorry for the maiden video being so late, but I finally take I've actually taken it twice now, twice out to fly it. Um, it was just absolutely, it was just to be expected. It flew just absolutely phenomenal. It was very, very, very efficient and powerful. All that power you need is there. Plus, obviously, there's more powerful motors, but this was just perfect it was that sweet spot uh you needed power you got yourself in a little situation just push that throttle you're basically to the moon so overall it's very beautiful um now let's just talk about what i have changed i don't know if you've noticed that the camera looks different now well the first time i took it out i actually didn't want to put in more than five lipos in it because i was afraid of breaking it the fisheye effect on the eachine 800 ct that we've installed here was so it was the lens is very terrible but the overall camera is very good. I mean, in, you know, in the lighting conditions, it was holding up very well between the trees, out the trees. Everything was good. Um, so I ended up replacing it for a Foxeer. And this is just like the Foxeer clone. I would have put the clone, but I just had the Foxeer just hanging around. So I just stuck it on there uh, the second day to take it out for a flight. However, I'll be making another video for the camera. But I just wanted to tell you what happened with the camera on this video right now. Let's go to motors. Motors, absolutely phenomenal. I still stick to behind what I said. Uh, these four motors, none of them are bad. Everything's working just fine. Had a couple crashes, no problems yet. They're not hard crashes, but everything is totally fine. If something broke, then I would have been actually very pissed and, and angry. But it held together and it's holding up together very well now. Frame. Well, this frame, there's really nothing to talk about. It, I mean, stock Betaflight pins will fly. It's just absolutely beautiful. Maybe increase a little bit of D and some I, and you're good to go. Um, so the frame is absolutely phenomenal. People used it. People know it. Um, I don't really have to speak much more about the frame. It's it's like the best budget frame you could actually buy right now. Uh, and this is not a joke. This is it's, It really is, in my opinion, and I believe others as well. Now let's go into the... Flight controller. This is the Star F4S that we used and does have OSD and it has a 5 volt regulator. It does not have a 12 volt regulator. So for 12 volt regula regulator, we used a obviously some kind of this is a buck regulator and you can see it on the previous video where I built it. Uh, I set it to I think 8.3 volts with low ESR capacitor. This is a Panasonic 1000 microfarad 25 volt low ESR capacitor. And guys, I got basically a perfect video absolutely perfect video i'm going to show you guys right now um it perfect um yeah it was, it was almost it was matic perfect to be honest uh so it was very good for me osd flickers absolutely none whatsoever um the board held up perfect fine no weird twitches no weird anything it's beautiful and don't forget i do have it soft mounted just in case it's it doesn't hurt to soft mount it soft mount your flight controllers i just use these rubber o-rings now what else is there to say? Well, there's really nothing else to say. It was just beautiful. So all I'm going to do now is just show you the um, the FPV footage. And then at the end, I'm just going to leave you guys with the HD footage and the FPV up down in the corner. And that's really it. So if anyone has done this build or is planning on doing this build, let us know how your experience went for you and how is everything holding up for you. Um, so, yeah. And um, just a sneak preview. I have an idea for this guy since we have so much room in here. Look what I got. This is the run cam split. So this will save us a lot of weight and um, yeah, and we do have enough room to put this plus. So uh, this will be very interesting. This will be very cool maybe. Uh, so this is going to be like, this is going to, I'm just basically going to test the run cam split on this guy. And um, if I do like it, then I'm going to keep it. So this should be good. Now you'll know that if I don't like it, I will remove it because I am taking this guy everywhere with me now. Um, he's my number one quad to just go crazy with. And you know, they say, if you don't crash, you you don't really get, you don't learn really. So this guy is just, is my number one go-to quad just to just absolutely just let go and not worry about breaking it. So if you ever see this guy removed, it's under for two reasons. One, I didn't like him. Or two, I broke him and I told you I broke him. So that'll be upcoming and this will be very, very interesting. So yeah, so let me bring up the FPV footage on the screen and check it out. All right guys, so here we just armed and taken off. 
See, you you can't see that noise. There, there's basically no noise, but someone who's very picky could pick out that noise. But in the goggles, I could not see it. Uh, just after replaying the videos like this, just watching it, then I just saw the, the little tiny lines. But it's just almost impossible to see, really. You should see the diatone. The diatone has a lot more than this. The diatone is somewhat noticeable. Um, but, you know, that, that that could be cleared up with a low ESR capacitor, but there's really no need, and I'll have that video up coming later on. But overall, this is without the fisheye effect. This is the second day I went took it out flying with the, um, with the Fox Air camera, so it was just a lot better. Um, I was very much afraid to fly it, and I was very upset with the, the Eoshin camera, so I'm going to kind of look for some kind of mod to fix it, since I have three in here, so... Yeah, or maybe we could do some giveaway. Uh, but I would really like to find some kind of mod to fix it and then do the giveaway so uh, you guys can have a pretty good camera. And yeah, so overall, it was very good. I'm going to leave you guys with the HD footage now.